Okay, the second project today I want to share with you are these altered milk cartons. And I have always, uh, or at least for at least five or six years, wanted to make houses out of recycled milk cartons. And not until this year I succeeded. I succeeded, I would say, at least to my own satisfaction, the look of these. I really love these. And um, I actually saw... I saw... I was inspired. Let me, let me say it like that. I was inspired by um, another YouTuber, crafter called Ainet Kessler, and she she um, showed this kind of version um, of how to make a a decorated altered milk cart like this, and so. I I took that uh, and made my own version. So um, this is part of a series of <clears throat> creations that I'm going to use in my bedroom, and then I I call it the transformation into my boudoir because I think this has kind of a boudoir feel. It is not. Uh, like the Moulin Rouge um, boudoir style, but it's the romantic, it's the Victorian romance boudoir feel. So again, I used the papers, and let me use, let me show you the papers from the Victorian romance. Um, if you haven't seen them yet. Um, remember, you can always go to Ephemeris Vintage Garden and learn more about this Garden Club membership, where you each month get um, offered uh, a monthly printable club kit at a very affordable price. And then you can always... Can always um, choose to purchase or not to purchase and to print whatever you need. Yeah, it's not a finished paper stack. If there are papers in here that you don't need, you just don't print them. Each page you can print separately. So that's what I find brilliant about this. Um, and then, of course, I have collected tons of these really seriously tons so what I did is that I actually I put gesso I put gesso on 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 the entire surface because this is coated this is coated you can see how it shine it's glossy so it's coated with something and just to make sure that any glue would keep um, sticking, I just added uh, a painted, a uh, covered with gesso. And then I, I cut open the front so that I can open it like a door. So, and then I'm going to store my jewelry in here. Little boxes of jewelry. Um, in I haven't done anything in this one yet, but this, this is full of little boxes, and I even made, I even had um, match boxes in the smallest uh, size that you you can get. Um, there was room for these two, and I just thought it was just so cute looking. And then, you know, I could put inside just a ring, <laughs> a ring, maybe a brooch like this, 
So I thought that was brilliant. And one could, one could actually, hold on. Oops. One could maybe put these bigger ones inside. Let me see if they fit. Then I'm going to do that because this is this is a mess when they when they they fall out like this. So maybe one could glue this. You see, it 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 does it does. So then I could glue a stack of these, and then you could just pull out the drawer. Isn't that brilliant? I love this idea. So I'm going to make more of these and. This is the boudoir feel. This is the boudoir feel. I fussy cut out uh, some of the shoes. This is embellishments or ephemera in the kit. And I fussy cut this. Um, wired uh, dress form. And I had a little... Um, um, box of candy that came that's just for fun this one is really just for fun um, to make a various look and here I can I kept it open I could put in a photo and there's room for another photo here just you know like what you have in your passport or you cut down um, to size um, to fit it in um, the roof the roof um, I made with strips of paper and then I used this border punch and then I just glued them on top of each other and then it looks like a roof yeah uh, and then of course uh, I punched out a whole lot of flowers again to make it all tie together so it corresponds with each other. Um, that is that is what I do as a designer. I I like things to correspond and 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 it. It belongs to each other so that is why my album has this look and this is why my Tower of Love has that look and I'll be making more of these to store more of my jewelry um, and they will also have this look so that's just an inspiration for you and I hope you like it I will, I will maybe show you a video from my boudoir when I am all done with it to, to show you how it looks when it's all in one place and it's all decorated and it's all just beautiful boudoir looking. So that's next. That's next guys. So stay tuned. Bye.